We back? Oh, We're back. <laughs> the chat room was hilarious. They called them MC Two Flies. <laughs> they, they kill everybody. They kill, yeah. They they kill all of us. They kill. Shout out to the chat room, though. No. Keep it We're real. Ba- Keep it busy. It's We're back. Busy. You're listening to Reach Around Radio on LATalkLive.com. I am the poetess. I'm Speedy. <laughs> Speedy. <laughs> wow, Speedy. Speedy, are you really gonna sit there? And chew chips right in the camera and in the microphone. Yo, it's your boy Speedy. What's happening? Is that better? Claudia, too. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia <laughs> gave him to me. It's the girl, Claudia Jordan. <laughs> she TP. wants me to lose the race. Mr. One, two, three, Knox. Baby. Yo, oh, the second guy. Shout out to The Real Rap. Shout out to Terry, T.L. Murray, Donald Madison, Aaron, Lady, Two Eye Pooh. Finch. It's off our Facebook. Um, and also shout out to Demetrius. We chat a little bit online last night. Really? About, cool. mm-hmm. about nothing. Well, what y'all talking about? Mm-hmm. You've been talking to a little boy and who else you been talking to? No. We have a caller. Oh actually maybe it's, it's time for maybe Medical Model. As soon as she put the reach around. Claudia just down. took a picture of herself. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the name Reach Around Radio. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> long monkey on <laughs> shut up speedy <laughs> this one you will find um related to you kind of i don't think so <laughs> this medical model minute uh was inspired by speedy and all the jokes we make about being overweight and gout <laughs> i know we throw that word around a lot gout but people don't really know exactly what gout is g-o-u-t right g-o-u-t exactly gotcha. all right um we're gonna speedy go spell gout no <laughs> <laughs> Gout was historically known as the disease of the kings or rich man's disease because you hey, get it. Hey, Speedy. <laughs> I ain't got it. <laughs> what happens is it's caused by elevated levels of uric acid in the blood, which crystallizes and gets deposited in your joints, tendons, and surrounding tissues and makes it swell up. Mm. So, like, you have a lot of foods that are high in cholesterol, like mm. that are rich people food, they say, like lobster. Mm. Like, I know you go to red lobster all the time, right? No, I don't do seafood. You don't no, he's not. No, well, there's a lot of him. foods that have high, high cholesterol. They're rich, and if you don't, you know, they collect the crystal. They crystallize and collect in your joints, and you mm-hmm. get swollen feet. Um, it's a medical condition usually characterized by recurrent attacks of acute inflammatory arthritis. So your big toe will look huge, be like a big red swollen joint. For no reason. Lots of fluid. Well, it's because your diet's horrible. Okay. <laughs> and you gotta get the you know the uh, accumulation going hmm? in the blood. <laughs> However, it can also be present in your kidney stones. Which is very painful. Okay. And you can treat it with drugs, uh, anti-inflammatory, steroids, or marijuana. Or drug. Yeah. So that's gout. Do you have any questions about gout? I don't have it. Do you have any swollen like joints in your feet? No. 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 Do you know anybody that has? I have it? a good. I have a very good diet. TDB. Believe it. No. My yeah. grandpa has had it, like just eating lots of rich foods and then being inactive and not getting the blood circulating yeah. throughout I mean, your I body. Play so ball. A I play ball. A lot of ailments lot. have almost everything to do with your diet. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. My diet is awful, so I just wanted to let you guys know this can happen if you have a diet high in cholesterol, and to keep it low, and to get the exercise, make that a priority in your life. So what are the foods that people should stay away from? Um, Well, when you go buy your foods, look for the labels, that's uh, things that are high in cholesterol. There's a lot okay. of things that are high in cholesterol. I actually stay, went stay in your fruit. Yeah. Fruits, vegetables, a lot of fibers. And drink a lot of water. I, I drink a lot of water. A lot of water helps, yes, which does. I don't. Um, And I you should probably have that melon that begins with a W, what is that? Watermelon, <laughs> but and just just to appease you, watermelon. I love the watermelon. I will tell you guys, I had something done. Uh, it's called the live blood cell analysis, and it was mm-hmm. really interesting. And I found out even at my size that I, cholesterol was something I had to watch out for. And what they do is they prick your finger and they put a drop of blood under a microscope and put it on a monitor. Even heart monitor. disease. Yeah. Even heart disease. Big time. And they showed me what my blood looked like, like my red blood cells. Lack of oxygen makes them misshapen and deformed and collapse. Mm-hmm. And then they start clumping together. And those are like signs of precancer. Like those are precancer cells. And, and what they, did you find out? There were things in my blood that looked like they was a bro- piece of broken glass, which is crystallized. It's crystallized. So you have gout? 
I don't have gout, but it's something that the doctor did make me aware of. Like, you need to watch what you eat. Like, you can still be thin and be care. Like, you know, that could be something that you have to worry about. Okay. So, so you mean I could be healthier than you? Not you. <laughs> <laughs> we have a call. Set up. Carla, yeah, what's hysterical. your name and where are you calling from? Turn your house down. Carla. Hello. Hey, who's calling? Hey. Um, so so now that the guy is gone, this is uh, Jason from New York again. Uh, okay, uh, just to correct him, I'm actually a physician in New York, so I was listening to this point. Um, what Claudia was talking about actually sounds more like sickle cell as opposed to anything else, which mm. is pretty rampant in the black community. Um, Got it from Wikipedia. So, so really, that's one of those things we would need to get checked up on. And Speedy actually gave the greatest point today with regards to what we can all do to really help our lives, just to drink more water. I mean, part of the problem with black in terms of why we have such high blood pressure is that we don't drink enough water and we take in so much salt. Mm -hmm. um, and so that accumulation gives you too much fluid in your body that makes your heart work harder. So, you know, if we were all out there, just drink more water, we'd be fine. Thank you, bro. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Jason. Hey, wow. Jason, what type of doctor are you? Hold on, our hand claps. Go ahead. Jason? <laughs> Never mind. Next call. Right. Yeah, no, ice is not water. Let, let people know that. They, I got ice in my cup. That Jason, you still there? What is water? Yeah. What's your, per, what's your medical What profession? kind of doctor are you? Yeah, specialist. Yeah, I work in the emergency room. Ooh. Oh, okay. You see so you Where? see everything. Which one? What city, I mean? At mm -hmm. Columbia University. A Skype. Oh, gotta go. We gotta Skype. We, gotta we Skype. love you to call in, in the future. future. Yeah, yeah, yeah please, Jason, call back. Get that Definitely will. All right, thank you. Turn your uh, Skype down. In New York. Yeah, turn your house down. Oh, gotta go. Call it. Where are you calling from? Where are you Skyping London. from? London. London. Whoa. Yeah, wanker yes. boy. I got through. Oh shit. Now <laughs> 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 what? Who is yeah. this? He's on Skype. This is Lawrence from London. Hey, Lawrence, Lawrence what's, what's your about? bloody questionnaire? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have a question. I just want to say you lot are doing a fantastic job. I sincerely appreciate the show and I tune in every Monday and Thursday. I mean, it, it's mad late now, but oh. like still, I, 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 I lock in to listen and I, I appreciate what you lot guys, you guys do. So thank mad you. luck to you. I love Tell that. all your friends. I love the accent. I will. Oh, most definitely. And I love how clear they sound. They call Man, you sound, yeah, you sound great. You sound great. Can you keep better. talking? <laughs> Can you say I promise to call you later? <laughs> no, but um, guys, oh, damn. mad luck for what you do. And I'll definitely call in again next week of some sort or further down the line. Okay. But, yeah. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, we'll meet you for a spot of tea, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, then have a good one. Cool. What is that? Hey! Oh, London. What, what Speedy, we in London, man. What you going to say about that? I'm fired up. <laughs> you fired with an R. We're I global. Are. We're global. Double R. We are global. All right. So that was this is the national. So okay, I like the so Skype call. Let's pop that so Skype. We bring yeah, in our, um, yeah, we got a special. We got guest. a special guest. Very How special? By way of poetry. But that's do all. Do you want to get at? Oh. What you going to do? He's um in the men's room. Okay. <laughs> Rolling a blunt. Oh. Slapping a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. When he gets in here, London. I have to tell you guys a story that that happened with me. I and like how you put your chest on the table. I, I can't that help is it. So fly. I can't help it. She got to rest them. Yeah. I, they said you know, every time she leaves, I put my hand right where it was warm. I go, yeah. <laughs> That's because you're a pervert. <laughs> I can't help. I think you purposely put the seats low so yes, they I, can. I always adjust your chair. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, TDP, never. hand me that wrench. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Titties wow. on the table. Soon as he gets in, That's going to be a new song called Titties on the Table. Oh, we be... have a new segment coming up. Uh, what's, yeah. it what's it called? What's it, what's it? It's, it's called segment, Connie Bong. Ladies and gentlemen, for your listening pleasure. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> please stay tuned for the upcoming world premiere of Connie Bong <laughs> News. <laughs> coming up. Shit. So speedy. Yes, my love. Jeez. It's my birthday coming up. I plan on doing it big. Like what? How else can you do it? Fifty <laughs> girls in fifty hours. <laughs> I thought about that. I thought, thought about, about it. 50 and one, and what? 50 and, I think you can train for it, speedy. I'm gonna leave fifty girls. Three, fifty, 50 girls, girls in fifty girls. hours. Have sex with fifty girls in fifty hours. Speedy. No, in fifty days. 
No, 50 hours. No. TDP. I think he could do it. That's disgusting. <laughs> You don't think he could do it, Claudia? He has eight, nine in a possible. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you need a lot of time to recover after you like no, ejaculate? No, they say no. a man only needs 20 minutes. Impossible. Mm. Ba-na-na, ba-na-na. <laughs> STDs. Miracle's holding up a sign that says Who has an STDs. STD? Miracle? No. Oh, that's true. You gotta catch something. One out of fifty, you gotta have something. You gotta eat some crabs, and some flips, some gonorrhea, something. Something. Your nice little seafood platter. Yeah, this nigga taking no, a I dump? figure. I figure. <laughs> What's the over under on that? You should put it back. Uh, no, I could probably do twenty. Twenty girls in one day? Mm. No, in a week. In a week, Speedy. Yeah. That's a lot of girls. That's a lot of girls. You have to feed all of them, too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find you a little niche in there somewhere. No, Speedy. I'm get you in there, Connie. I'm celibate. Um, get, so you going to sell a little bit? Sell <laughs> me Stop some. it. Sell a lot, then. <laughs> sell a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> sell a lot of that shit. <laughs> What'd you do on your uh, four, tw- uh 30? What do you call you? Damn, can th- you what? talk? How old do you say you were? I'm 38. Yeah. What'd you do on your t- 38 birthday? My 30th birthday, I was in... Uh, what are you going to well, do on 404? 4 is the big one. I'm going to do Two a big party. Now. I don't know what the theme will be, but I definitely love doing theme parties, though. And I hear you have some really nice parties. Claudia. I have great parties. Yeah, My does. best party, I had a lingerie and pajama party out in Chatsworth. And we rent, like we got like tennis courts, cover them up with tents, white couches, pink lights. And it was beautiful. Candles everywhere. We had a DJ, a dance You didn't have always? Huh? It wasn't always? No, it wasn't. I didn't know him then. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, it was a huge party and everybody came like dressed for the theme. And like mm-hmm. a lot of people, like all the girls were beautiful and the guys looked good. It was a great party. Mm. Some people were on E that, that night. So Someone went to what? Some people were on E that night. E. Mm. A couple of the white girls were on E. So they Don't were blame it on the white girls. Yeah. <laughs> Sisters do it too now. No, I know. A lot of glossy eyes in the house. Yeah. But it was, no, it was a fun time. Wow. So it was a good time. It was a good time. You would have loved to have been there. So I'll be 5 old, so. Yeah, I, I'm I'm working on a special my surprise daughter, for you uh, my, right that week of your birthday. My five-year-old said... <laughs> when is your birthday, Speedy? September 21st. My daughter said, Daddy, what is 50? I said, shut up. Go on, lay it Are on you going to be 50? Mm-hmm. You act like I'm lying about my age. What am I Okay, I think our, our guest is coming in now. Uh-oh. Oh, what you going to do? <laughs> All right. You get out? Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Do? Ah! Tell <laughs> oh, what you going to do? <laughs> Do you wanna get out? Ladies I'm and gentlemen, I'ma let P. Oh, what you gonna do? I'ma let you do it, P. Do you wanna get out? P. This trick. What's that? You, you ready, P? Then let you breathe on my last bit of Indo smoke. That's my shit. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna give you my P. Hey. And then let you breathe. What's up, Free? Not much. Glad to be here with y'all. In the house. Uh-huh. I just fresh got out the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah, yeah. And fresh <laughs> on from, location. And fresh from the bay. Mm. Mm. From the bay. Yeah. yeah Put that on your pizza pump. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? I was reading up on you today. I didn't know you uh-huh. were born in Oakland. Uh, I was born in Gardena, but, you know, we uh, I grew up in Oakland. Oh. I grew up in Oakland. Moms and pops got a divorce when I was around five, so... Ever since then, I've been back and forth. You ever mm. been running up and down that freeway like it, like it ain't free. Tell them who now, Pete. Oh, man. Port? Okay. Huh? Tell them who's in I now. just said, no, everybody, to, yeah, please yeah. give a reach, ar- reach around welcome. Uh-oh. 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 Reach around welcome. Reach around <laughs> welcome. Around. For Nutra Sweet. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Sugar Free is in the yeah, building. Up, with baby! Baby! Right. West Coast welcome, 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 welcome. Legend. What's up, Sugar Life's Free? What you been up to? Well... Uh, I've been working with Quick. I've been working with uh, Bishop Lamont. Mm-mm. I'm working with my homeboy Pomona Pimpin Young. That's a great name. Uh, what, what's his name again? Pomona Pimpin Young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my pimp partner. That's right? a great fucking uh-huh. name. And uh, you know my, you know, you know, I got a new appreciation for my music. You know, cause, mm-hmm. you know, I, I let a lot of things go that I thought was important, and uh, it was messing up my real money. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of sticking to one thing right now because it's kind of cool, you know. So what's the one thing? The music. music. Oh, okay. So what was music, the other? I'm thing? putting mu- pimping. Mm. You know what I mean? You I'm putting. I'm putting. I'm putting. I'm putting. I'm not giving it up. I'm just putting it to the side. Cause see, you know, you know, you can all, uh, you know, a, a, a 70 year old man, you know, can have a 25 year old woman. Speak you on. know what I'm saying? But a 70 year old woman, I n- never really seen her with no young cat. <laughs> no, no. So no. I can wait. Mm. You know, it can wait. And, I, and you know, I, I, I still, you know, I really want to put a dent in this music game for real. They ain't seen or heard the best of me. True that. Mm. True I'm that. just getting started. True How that. many albums have you True done that. already? Huh? How many have you done? Albums have you done already? Uh, 
I don't even count them, really. No. I don't. I don't. Maybe five. Five. Wait, I had your info here. Yeah, I like them all. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah. right on. Six. For real, that shit. Man. Street right. gospel. That's classic. a classic. I, I mean, no, you right, right on. Classic. Right on. Yeah. Street gospel was the bomb, but you know, I ain't one of them rappers coming here and be like. Oh man, you oh man, you should hear this one. Oh man, it's the bomb. It's, you know, some No, we're gonna say it for you. Yeah, some of them firecrackers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some of them, them love Yeah. <laughs> throw on the ground, they pop. Yeah. But and, uh, and then some M eighties. You got them M eighties. I got some cherry bombs and yeah, M eighties up bombs. in there. Uh-huh. uh-huh. But you know, I'm just still st- I'm sticking to my craft. Oh, is that you? I thought that was yeah. us. <laughs> call us listen, yeah, we got the phone, same phone you got. Let me see, Listeners, the number to call is 323-247-7443. If you want to call in and talk to Sugar Free. Live. Sugar Free, yes. Yes. Sugar Free I, I have to say you are one of the most underrated rappers because you can get your spit on. You know, I kind of like, I, you know what? I like my uh, position. I do. Mm-hmm. Man, I love my position, man. I, I do because not that I ain't ready to take my seat. You know, but I just do because, man, the, the way the crowd react when I come out there, it's like, yeah, man. yeah exactly. That's you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. So I like that, mm-hmm. you know, more than anything, man. Uh, you know, not not that I can't handle the job, but, you know, I'm ready for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I like my position. I now, like how it. did you get into rapping or is that just something you always did or? I just love music, period, mm-hmm. man. When when I was little living in Oakland, uh my first it, pops used to come home, man, drunk, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. from the post office. <laughs> oh shit! Right, and, you know, pops was, you know, he was gotcha. in war and all that. Pops gotcha. was in the service yeah. then, and mm-hmm. you know, real and all dude, that. yeah, real cat, right, big brother, right. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was down with the Panther and all that, you know. My, I never could understand, you know, mom's is white, pops, was, you know, but you can kill us. Right, you're half breed. Yeah, I'm, no. Yeah. I've, I've been to the I've been to the chop shop. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm cut. I've been I didn't to know the chop that. Shop. Yeah, yeah, I'm cut. <laughs> Fucking alert. In common. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, been to the chop my mother's shop. family is from Louisiana. Oh, okay. Creole. You know, they Creole. Oh. Okay. You know, and uh, you know, probably just come home and and just uh, play music loud. I'm talking about everything from Al Green, Johnny Cash, Parliament, Bootsy, Spinners, and they would argue all the time and fight. Mm. So to escape from that, I pay attention to the music so close that I would imagine it, that it was me, what whoever I heard on the radio, right. and I was uh, real interested in uh, uh, the wax, the actual wax, the record. You know what I mean? Got gotcha. you. And I, I used to, I used to tear up all my toys to figure out where the sounds came from, mm. all the time. You know what I mean? Right, got it. Yeah. As my mother used to tell me, you know, and I remember tearing up, you know, a few things, you know. But uh, you know, I always wanted to be a part of that. Yeah. I don't know what, uh, or how, or uh, what position I was gonna play in this music business, but I knew it was gonna be something. Mm. And um, you know, I started rapping. You know, as soon as I heard Sugar Hill Gang, I was like, it's on, <laughs> <laughs> it's on. And I've been rapping, you know, ever since then, man. I've been rapping since I was 11. I'm 41 now. So gotcha. how, oh, yeah. so how long? Um, what have you been doing longer, rapping or pimping? Rapping. What, what made you decide to go into pimping? It ain't something that Bitches. you. It ain't something that you decide <laughs> to do. Money. What do yeah. you mean? It ain't something that I really, you know, it wasn't something I, I really asked for. My uncle, uh, before he passed away. Respect. He, uh, thank you, man. Yeah. You know, he would. You know, I used to wonder what he was doing, right? Because <laughs> this is my mother's baby brother. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And uh, his name was Fritz. He's from Compton. Right. White boy? No. Down by law. Fritz the cat, right? His is name, he a white boy? Huh? Because you said you, your mom was white. Yeah, he was Creole, Creole, brother. Oh, okay. Right? And, uh, you know, my aunts and them used to do his hair every day, and he had all these suits. And, and, and you know, the cold part about him was, to me was he couldn't read or write. Speedy. And he would. <laughs> 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 and, and, and he would uh, take me. You know, I was the first grandson, so I'm the first nephew. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And uh, he would drive around and just cruise up, you know, bus stations, train stations, and uh, apartment buildings. Gotcha. You. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, you know, he knew what he was looking for. Mm. And I knew what he was doing because he'd take me all the time, right? Right. And he used to uh, talk to a girl, excuse me, can, you know, anything to spark a conversation, right? And he'd get this number with a name. And as we drove off, he asked me, Dewan, what's her name? 
and uh, be like uh, Tracy, man. Her name is Tracy. Okay, right on. Good looking out, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I used to like to see him, man, get dressed, get ready, you know. I was the one to go get the suits for him and give him that blue one up there. I go run to the closet, get his blue suit for him, you know. And he always had a lot of money, right? Mm-hmm. And I said, I remember one day saying, Uncle Fritz, just can I have just one of those? <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. He said, uh, I don't know why he told me this at the age I was, mm-hmm. right? But now I, I, when it hit me, I, I real, I, I had to, he died on me and I had to put it together myself. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Between him, my pops, and my other uncles and my aunties, you know what I'm saying? It's some crazy moment. Yeah, gotcha. Man. Right? And they all in Compton, yeah. you know? So, uh, I know one thing led to another. You know, he asked me, he said, man, them girls at your school, he said, they say they love you all the time and they'll do anything for you. I said, yeah, all the time. He said, some of them wasn't playing, mm. right? I'm like, okay. So I had to put that together myself. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, uh, I don't know. I just started pimping, man. You know, when I really had the stomach for it was when my baby mama took my son. Okay. You know? And... That was messed up. That changed my life. Mm. So did that make you become like like that made me go with women? Or? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It just made me go get my first hoe. Wow. Mm. What is that? Okay, in this recession, what does vagina <laughs> go for these days? Because I'm hey, thinking hey, wait the price of pussy has gone down. No, yeah, sugar, no, but you got no, any coochie no, coupons, no, man? Oh look, my no, god. The price of meat is up all the time, man. <laughs> I mean. I'm saying you there's a lot saying? of people that are probably having sex to get their phone, like the light bills paid. So right, I mean, you know, and like like they Price say, like they down. say, you know, a lot of hoes pay a light pole, which means in pimp terms is that she just got to do it. You know what I mean? So she just throwing her money away just on anything stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where the pimp come in, you know, and manage this situation, and you know, make everything all right. You know, ain't nobody giving nobody no drugs or uh, hitting nobody right. like that. You know, you pimp from the mind, man. And, Guidance and, counselor. Have you ever had a pimp slap <laughs> someone though? Um, y'all done slapped a few bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Do they yeah. ever fight back? Like nah, you it. know, I mean, actually, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, some of these bras will leave you if 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 uh, they you know did. they got away with something and you didn't discipline them, they'll leave. And, you know, when they leave, you know, that's all your money. That's a lot of your money gone. How much would a good worker girl make? In I mean, on a, on a slow night, you know, I mean, you know, how get a, a, a thousand off the track or something how like that. How many people you have know? to have sex with to get a thousand dollars? Not many. Four? Not many. Really? Not Four. many. Okay, I have to I mean, kind of play the. It depends on the where you at. It depends on where you at. How she look. The devil. You know, advocate. and all that. We got a phone call. So I know you get a lot of flack from because now that you are in the limelight and in rap and all that, you get yeah. a little flack about your your pimp lifestyle. Yeah. And yeah. what do you yeah. have to say to people who don't agree don't agree with you or your lifestyle? Well, I mean, I mean, you know, you know, as as far as the you know as far as the you know the prostitute is concerned. You know, she got kids, and she got bills. You know what I'm saying? She got a car note. You know what I mean? She her her mom and daddy probably died. You know what I mean? And see, a lot of these, a lot of these, you know, hoes, man, they been through something. You know what I'm saying? Speak on. In the first place, probably when they was little, they got raped or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because most of them had the same story. Mm. When they come, I'm talking about the same story. Gotcha. Damn near all of them. Do you feel bad knowing that? Because it's like they all have these, you know, daddy issues. They've been raped, molested, and they're kind of you're capitalizing on the fact that they have like these broken homes or these sad stories. You feel bad about that, or is it just you like know, that's just part of the game and that's just you know, it's just a part of the game. You know, it, it, that's that's just the way it is, and that's the way it's been way before me. Thank they you. need a counselor, not a. You know what I mean? They they <laughs> got a phone call. Hey, hey well, you I, know, I mean, pimp is just a word. Yeah, you know what word. I mean? Oh, oh yeah. You know, at the end of the day, you know, this whole pays, man. Pimping in my pocket. Well, we have maybe a prospective hole on the phone. We have a caller. <laughs> caller, what is your name Man. and where are you calling from? And, and are you choosing? Are you choosing? <laughs> no, it's about the music right now. Hello, caller, caller. where are you calling from? All right, Hello? Yeah, there, there you go. Oh, maybe, What's happening, dog? This is John. <laughs> What's happening, dog? You there? Caller, what's your name? Hello? Where are you calling from? Okay. Imperial Grand Wizard, Gold Coast Don, West Side Connection. <laughs> oh, my God. King Tut, Bay Area, Rolling Hunt. It's free. What's up? Oh, man, you already know, man. Shit, what's that, Pete? <laughs> oh, man, you know Bay Area. All good. Yeah, I just left from... Call at you. Yeah, okay. I just left from out there, man. Out there in uh, Berkeley and uh, Frisco. Did you have Holland a show? Fote in there. Oh, no, no. Points. I got some. I got family good. out there. I got a show on Modesto tomorrow night, though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Hunter's Point? Oh, okay. All right. What's your comment or question, yeah. King Tut? 
Well, let me say what's up to Playboy Speedy first. What's that? Speedy, what's happening? What is sea life? <laughs> Damn. What are you? <laughs> All right. Are you banging? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Sugar free up in this bitch. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Sugar free in this motherfucker, man. Get these bitches popping. Hey, get up there. Give me my money. Yeah, because my oh, goddamn pinky God. finger keep twitching. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I, 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 I can't. I can't tell what cap. What cap street look like out there right now? Yo. Uh, I say it one more time. Hey, what cap look like out there right now, Scoop? I'm sorry, man. I'm breaking up, man. I'm on sunset, <laughs> but I, I'm on walnut, man. That Boost I, Mobile I, ain't no, ain't no shit. I'm on walnut, man. I, okay. You know what I mean? I was a player, man, moving a half a bird a week off off the street, man. A real yeah, player, man. God. Next oh, call. Really not. You're not moving okay. half a bird a week. They're pigeons. Next call. KFC. <laughs> Chicken breast doesn't count. <laughs> that was uh, cold. You got another phone call. <laughs> I, I hate fake pimps. I hate people. Nah, you you know you know you know you know when 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 the when the, when the gang banging come, <laughs> come you know especially you know my pimp partners what I'm talking about the Hollywood division mm. players mm-hmm. the you real know, when when you mix gang banging with it man we tend to. Like back up away from yeah. that because you mixing two elements. It's like you know a player's ball can't be a place where you got uh, uh, gang bangers and, and and peas in the same room, mm. man. It just don't mix. Speak mm-hmm. on it. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So uh, it, it's kind of, it's kind of different, man. You know, uh, uh, don't nobody love pimps and hoes, but pimps and hoes, man. True that. So it's like a cold world, kind of. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. It has and has not. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you um going back to your music? So how did you uh end up hooking up with Quick and then doing um street gospel and and, and how did that change your life? We uh uh I hooked up with I've been knowing Tone, Black Tone for a long time, right? And uh Black Tone heard me on this cassette tape. It was rapping, right? I got some cats wanted a record deal. Uh some Compton cats they wanted a record deal. And uh, they came to Pomona to record it at my homie house. I didn't know what they was doing. It was like, do I want to come up here and, you know, flow with us? So I'm like, yeah, I'm always down to do that, right? So uh, I went up there and I freestyled this little bit on this cassette tape. And um, they let Tone hear the tape because they, they were looking for a deal or something, right? And uh, Tone heard me. He said, who's that? They didn't want to say nothing. Right. <laughs> Okay, mm-hmm. all right, but but uh, little Lebo from uh, Compton Fronthood, <laughs> Lebo, little Lebo, <laughs> shout out to little Lebo, little Lebo Compton Fronthood, man, for real, for sure, man. He, you know, two months later, he called my mama house. He was like, "Dewine," he said, "Man, Ice lied, man." He said, "Tone, we're looking for you." I said, hey, "You heard?" <laughs> he said, "Yeah, right." Okay, so I'm like, "Okay, I thought about it. I'm pumped up." I'm excited, right? And then I know, see, they all red rags over there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the west side of Pomona. I'm from Trey 5 Got so, you. You know, mm-hmm. but I was with them with the C's before the P's. Got you. Okay, so that's that's still there. Got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't run around doing that. Yeah. Feel you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Barking. So uh, I said, well, he wanted me to meet him at his house in Compton, right? Dead off in the, in the tree top, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I'm like, I got my, my son with me at the time. The one that uh, 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 the homegirl took, right? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, okay, well, I ain't never done nothing to these people. They ain't never done nothing to me. Yeah. I thought about all, everything that happened in jail and all, <laughs> all the prison. <laughs> Playing it back. Plan it yeah, all back. Like, yeah, like, did anything ever happen, you know? To Total where recall. I'm, to where I'm finna go get my ass whooped, yeah. mm-hmm. you know? And I, I'm like, nah, man, everything was cool, man. I walked into Tone house, man. And uh, that was it from there. He said, man, is this you on this tape? And uh, I looked around the room, man. It was all kind of cats up in there, man. I mean, they didn't have on nothing less than burgundy, orange, <laughs> right, right, right. maroon, <laughs> violet. Exactly. The carpet was red. <laughs> the carpet was red. <laughs> a little red poodle. Concentrate, yeah. concentrate. Yeah, you know. So he said, "This you on this tape?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "You rapping from your head?" I said, "Yeah." And uh, he said, "Can you do it right now?" I said, "Yeah." And uh, uh-huh. uh, I gave my son to my baby mother. And I pulled some more instrumentals out my pocket on some cassettes, right? Mm-hmm. And they started laughing. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. It was like, you know, oh, the nigga got his own music, right? <laughs> so, you know, we played with some music, man. I started freestyling, and that was it. Mm. You know? And wow. uh, Quick still didn't come to some years after. Mm. You know, maybe five, six years after that. Mm-hmm. You know? It was some time, so Damn. I pretty much, I man, I... 
That went hard, man. We came, we came from the dirt. All right. All right. You know, from the dirt with it. You know, didn't nobody walk us in. Gotcha. We're in the house with uh, Sugar Free. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're going to take a quick break. If you got something you want to ask them, hit us up at 323-247-7443. It's Reach Around Radio on LA Live Talk. LA Talk Live dot com. Yeah, All right. right. Anything it. goes when it comes to the old pepper ain't easy. Pepper ain't easy. Come on now. Get your money while you bullshit. Baby, why you bullshit? Mama tried, but it ain't no love like homie love, baby. I'm G up and I'm crazy. And there's a mellow ghetto breeze on my ass because I'm sagging. Don't want to die, so I'm packing. And when I see my baby crying, I can't explain how it hits me. I'm trying to take responsibility. 